Hi there, I'm here to explain what's going on with the Republican Senate. The Democrats voted down a police reform bill? That seems outrageous. That's not what they would do usually, right? Well, let's explain. This is ways the Republican Senate helps keep Trump, helps Trump wiggle out of uh, reform. So what's the background? Well, it's police reform time. Why? Well, I'll let other people explain, but it has something to do with people kneeling on, police kneeling on people's necks, uh, among many, many other things. So what happens? Well, the House acts and come up with the Justice and Police Act 2012, which is uh, brought to committee about 16 days ago. So we've been sitting on this for 16 days, which is a long time to sit on this in the middle of a crisis. What does it have? It has a ban on resale of military gear with a use requirement where they were required to use it sometime within the first year, which incentivizes using military equipment, even if you don't have to. It bans chokeholds. It bans immunity, which is something that was added in the 1970s and police operated just fine with before then. Uh, it requires that you report using no-knock warrants. So you don't have to, you can't, can still do them, but you got to tell people you're doing them. And it states a requirement uh, to end racial profiling and policing, and a few other things as well. So, the Republicans have a problem. If this, if they vote down this bill in the Senate, uh, uh, then they won't like that. They got to look like they care about police reform. Uh, and if they voted this bill, then they're going to either make Trump sign it or veto it. Neither one of those is good. The boss might get mad. They might call us funny names on Twitter. Uh, will they suffer the next election? No, uh, maybe not. Senators don't really go have shortages of work even when they're done with being a senator. So what's the solution? Ah, uh, the solution, we'll feel a competing bill. We'll call it the Tim Scott bill. But importantly, we will get rid of all of those important things that are in that side of that bill. Chokeholds are fine. Racial profiling is fine. Uh, military resale of gear can can still totally happen, and then those no-knock warrants can happen secretly, as they have for the last many years. And of course, we'll leave qualified immunity in place, which is problematic for many reasons. Uh, and then we'll replace that with some training requirements. So what are the results? Well, let's see what happens as this plays out. The Senate, which we'll get into this in a moment, the Tim Scott bill doesn't pass. There's no police reform at all. The Demo they get to call Democrats obstructionists. They're obstructing how bills are getting passed. And then, of course, no Trump doesn't have to do veto anything and look bad. Or this blanket bill, this fake bill, passes the Senate, but they can't reconcile the version from the House and the version from the Senate because they both have to reconcile a certain point because they're very different. No reform. Trump, Nothing for Trump to veto again. And then it quietly dies. Uh, and then we can blame the Democrats for not reconciling this one. Or the Tim Scott bill passes. It's a shell of a bill. It barely has any reform. But the Republicans get to say that they they support reform. This is why people are tired of politics, is because of phony tactics like this.